He has access to clothes fit for a prince, but some of Prince Harry's fits have caused an uproar over the years, with one in particular that he'll never live down. Prince Harry is mostly thought of as well-dressed, especially when he steps out with his very fashionable and designer-loving wife, Meghan Markle. But every royal has missteps with some so inappropriate they made the whole world cringe. In his younger days, before meeting Meghan, Prince Harry was a well-known party boy. In 2012, a vacation in Las Vegas didn't stay there, with photos of a clothesless prince becoming tabloid fodder. The pictures, revealing his highly inappropriate for public consumption birthday suit, were taken after the future Duke allegedly enjoyed a game of strip billiards. A year prior, the drunk prince jumped or possibly fell into a pool while living it up in Croatia. In the 2013 documentary series The Royals, the Duke of Sussex was called out by royal fashion experts for dressing rather sloppily and failing to select anything tailored, despite his access to the top designers on the planet. A more recent example of the prince dressing more like a pauper was his attachment to a pair of old black dress shoes back in 2018. Paparazzi snapshots from the time reveal that he eventually wore a hole in the left sole of the brogues, but still wore them to his friend's wedding that year, which is either endearing or wild wildly inappropriate for a royal, depending on your point of view. But none of these arguably inappropriate moments can compete with what Prince Harry did in 2005, when he was photographed wearing a Nazi uniform to a costume party. As biographer Robert Lacey chronicled in his book Battle of Brothers, the images understandably created a huge amount of public backlash worldwide, and the UK tabloids had a field day. We all know what the British press can be like. In an effort to appease the many people who were deeply offended, the Duke publicly apologized, saying in a statement, I am very sorry if I caused any offense or embarrassment to anyone. It was a poor choice of costume, and I apologize. But many people weren't satisfied with the somewhat tepid apology, with Lacey noting that some felt anger over how Prince William had been in on the idea for his younger brother to dress like a Nazi for the party. According to Lacey, although Harry took the fall for the Nazi costume, the now Prince of Wales didn't dissuade him from wearing it. Even the former Prince of Wales, now King Charles III, took some heat over the incident, with journalist Dickie Arbiter telling Sky News, "'I'm sorry, the Prince of Wales, he's a humanitarian and he does some terrific work, but I don't think he has the right discipline over his children, particularly Prince Harry.'" Fast forward to September 2022, when Prince Harry did not wear his military uniform to Queen Elizabeth's funeral, a move that would be considered inappropriate if he had any say in the matter. Harry and Meghan stepped down as working royals in 2020, which is why Harry was forced to wear a mourning suit with his medals instead. A spokesperson for Harry told The Independent at the time, "...his decade of military service is not determined by the uniform he wears, and we respectfully ask that focus remain on the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II." The prince was, however, permitted to wear his uniform to stand vigil by the queen's coffin alongside the long-serving monarch's seven other grandchildren.